people of the world today as the planet revolves apple invests in uber's biggest rival bmw to launch its first self driving vehicle in less than 5 years and as facebook gets into video youtube gets into messaging and there's a lot more this is a saturday and i'm aditya reporting from the tech portal hq welcome to tech portal tv presents the bulletin you know first apple has invested and invested 1 billion dollars into uber rival chinese cab company didi The capital influx from Apple is a part of the 2 billion dollar fundraising that DD is undergoing at a valuation of 25 billion dollars. Now DD is notching up a gargantuan 11 million rides per day with a subscriber base exceeding 300 million people. DD is operating in 400 Chinese cities with about 14 million Chinese car owners. Now here's a view of the battlefield. DD is the only regional rival among Ola in India and Lyft in US and the likes to have raised funds equivalent to that of Uber. In fact, DD has invested in Ola as well. Together these rivals have formed the Global Taxi Alliance which allows a user to book the cab of one company from the app of another when in the former's region. However coming back to Apple's investment it is being seen as a move to gain rapport in the Chinese conservative market and also to gain access to Chinese maps. The car company with the hottest front wheel design or BMW is going to launch its first self driving car the BMW i next in 2021. The BMW iNex is going to offer an innovation driver with autonomous driving, digital connectivity, an intelligent lightweight design, a completely new interior and ultimately bringing the next generation of electro mobility on the road. Notably Tesla and Lake who are also aggressively taking on the electric car market. The next few years is going to be a boxing match that you cannot miss. So Facebook for videos and YouTube for messaging. <laughs> no, you're not in a parallel reality. YouTube is getting a new feature which will allow users to share their favorite videos without having to copy paste the link. Yes, the video streaming giant is making this a reality by introducing an inbuilt messaging feature across all the official apps. Users can now share videos with their friends with just the click of a button. Users can also move in and out of these conversations very easily and even catch up on what they've missed later. YouTube is also offering a service where users can not just reply with a text message but with video. I mean it's YouTube, right? Pebble, the smartwatch maker which raised 102 million 66,845 dollars via Kickstarter, is going to launch its customizable smartwatches in India. The four models will be available in a range of rupees 6,000 to rupees 15,000. Pebble already claims a user base of about 20,000 people who use its watches in India. One feature that sets these watches instantly apart is the e-ink paper display. This not only gives better battery capacity and full waterproofing feature but also allows watches to change through beautiful watch faces which can be switched according to the user's mood anytime. About 13000 apps and watch faces are available on a dedicated app store. It's time for the startup activity roundup. First up is Stazilla which has managed to raise 13 million dollars from its existing pool of investors Matrix Partners and Nexus Ventures in multiple tranches. The Chennai based budget hotel and homestay aggregator is already profitable at the night room stay level and has never operated on a negative gross margin and has never discounted IDG Ventures India the India focused arm of capital venture firm IDG Venture Firms has planned to raise a commitment of about 150 million dollars in what promises to be its largest fund for the country yet. IDG's current portfolio includes startups like Lenskart, Mintra, Zivame, Tripoto, Nestaway, Perfint and many more. Insight, an internet of things based startup which is working to provide innovative solutions to mining and construction industry has managed to raise a seed round from KPCB Edge. The funding has taken form of uncapped convertible notes in the range of $100,000 to $200,000. Now there is no product of the company in the market yet but thanks to the seed round which provides an impetus Insight is planning to launch its first product in early 2017 Capital Float the fintech platform which makes it easier for SMEs to get loans has managed to raise a massive 25 million dollars With this funding the company's valuation has crossed the 100 million mark Capital Float is an online platform which provides working capital finance to SMEs in India This is it for today folks I'm Aditya signing off from the Tech Portal HQ see you next Tuesday until then take care and Try and keep up.